welcome to Gearock Farms. It's a wonderful morning here. We just got started milking, loaded the, the gutter into the manure spreader, and now we have a small pile here from Dad scraping up the yard here last night, the cow lot last night. So I'm gonna try to fit that in the manure spreader, see if I can, and then we gotta go spread it on a new seeding field, get that uh, fertilized and ready to go. It's the only open field right now, so we're gonna try to clean some pens today and uh, get some fertilizer out on the fields. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's uh, get to work. I was pulling out of the, the lot back there, I noticed this cow in our calf pasture was laying all weird in the corner here. And uh, good thing I came to check. She's uh, giving birth, she's gonna have her calf. You could have picked a nicer spot. Maybe we'll be able to get her to move here, but looks like she's getting there. We might have to help her here. And it'd be ideal to get her out of this ditch here. Of course she had to pick that spot. Come on. Come on girl. I think we'll stick around and, and help her out, being that uh, the back feet are already coming pretty decent. Man, she is on her cleanings like nobody's business. She uh, does not want to go up into the pasture so we might not end up having the calf right in here i don't want to fight her too hard you know i don't want to stress her out even more and trying to chase her out of here i'm gonna give her a little bit to describe what i did with her once i got her up tell she was struggling to push and when i went in there you could feel that the one leg was tucked back kind of like a chicken wing or like a t-rex arm however you want to picture it and ideally what you want is you want the calf to look like someone diving into a pool. You want their two front feet pointed towards the back and then their nose following. You know, almost a nice triangle shape. And when she was laying down there, obviously it was making it a lot harder having that one foot kinked back. So then it was a, a bigger object trying to push through there. It wasn't as, things weren't gonna flow as nice. So hopefully just doing that for her really helps out. But I'm gonna give her a little bit of time, maybe throw some hay to these other pens here, but keep an eye on her before I just take off with that manure. Maybe I'll go spread one load and then come check on her again. I don't wanna start pulling too early. I don't wanna force things either. We'll give her a little time here.
And there we are, guys. Nice bull calf. Got a little dirtier than I would have liked. Hindsight, I should have moved one of these gates or something and closed off this waterway so she didn't go lay back down in there. But as you could see, she was kind of using the gate as a backrest and it didn't work out too bad. Partway through there, I thought before the calves mouth got out i wanted to lay down some hay to keep things a little cleaner right you don't want to get a newborn calf like that exposed to other cattle's manure right away and, and stuff like that so tried to do my best there and then once he's out got him up here in the grass where mom can lick him off now and get him all cleaned up you know you would have been better off having him over there in the shade up on the bank or something and it's a good sign that he's bellering, making noise, kind of like a, a baby crying right after birth. I think that's a, a great sign. We're going to let them two be. We're going to let her take care of her baby, get them all cleaned off, and then later we'll be milking her, making sure her calf gets some good colostrum, that good stuff, that initial milking. Super, super important. Super happy we were able to help with that, make it a little easier on her. Now we'll get back to haul manure. Okay, so we are up on the hill now with the manure spreader and a full load. And before I took off here, I wanted to show you what not to do when spreading manure on a nice new piece of new seeding, a sensitive stand or any sensitive crop. You don't want to do something like this. You want to do something like that. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference. I don't know how obvious it is, but that was uh, an oh crap moment. No pun intended. That was one of the moments looking back, it was like, you know, whenever you're spreading manure on a hay stand, especially a, a new seating stand, you want to spread it very thin and very light. You don't want to have a, a big dump of manure. This isn't terrible, but it isn't ideal either. I would much rather have it feathered out super nice. And what I should have been doing and what I'm going to do with this load, especially this load because it's more liquid than yesterday's load, is start moving while I'm slowly engaging the the door for the manure spreader so then it's it's not shooting out a big chunk at once when I started up like what happened here even on these slingers even like the flap you want to be moving before you crack that open because sometimes there might be manure in there and then you get a little pile like that so hopefully that doesn't ruin the stand there hopefully it'll be fine like I said I, I caught it early enough to where it wasn't uh, a huge pile of manure. Whereas if this was gonna be corn and it was the end of the year and we were gonna rotate out of it, we'd put it on pretty dang heavy and not worry, especially because we knew we were gonna come back the next spring or later that fall and do some tillage, incorporate it really well, and uh, then plant corn on top of it. You can get away with putting a lot more manure on uh, ground that you're gonna put row crops into next year or do some tillage but if you have a stand like this that you want to, to live for the next five plus years you want to be careful when you're spreading manure on it so you got a, a lighter rate and you got to keep moving fast and just feather it out so what i'm going to be doing with this load is i'm going to start here towards the center i already blew the bottom of the field last night so i'm going to stay towards the top yesterday i was able to make one round across the entire field the, the entire perimeter so now i'll just bump in 25 feet and do the same thing but try to stay towards the top so that's the plan let me know in the comments what type of manure mishaps you may have had in your life those of you that have farmed or have heard stories about farmers let me know what type of 
manure mishaps you guys have had. This is pretty minimal. I've heard of some big outfits where they blew one of their uh, manure lines going to one of them big injectors and it just made a heck of a mess. I'd be interested to hear them stories, so leave them stories down below in the comments. But without further ado, let's get this manure spread. that time i think i did a lot nicer job and with the uh, more liquid manure you can uh, do a lot better job feathering it doesn't come out in you know chunks so it's a bit easier to do that as for the rest of the plan i'm gonna head down to the yard and we're gonna start cleaning out the heifer pens get some more manure hauled up here being that we have a open field to go on and uh it's freshly cut so it'll be perfect timing to get some uh, manure out here so that's the plan we're gonna keep cleaning pens nest in that gate got me right on the arm I for sure got one or two stings and then dad's over here yeah there's bees in there and he's laughing he's like yeah one got me behind the ear yesterday that'd be nice to know jeez thanks for the heads up dad thanks for the heads up jeez well, I was fine I was gonna tell you about it but then you already had the gate tied back I figured wow what the heck bees. Jeez, they're crawling everywhere.
it. I think I'm kind of developing a, a fear of old rusty gates, especially today. I'm, I'm kind of picking up that fear. I didn't know that was a fear, but I'm, uh, I seem to be developing that today. A morning full of surprises. Blue calf, bee attacks. I should quit calling them bees, they're wasps. It's better off having bees around here, especially like honeybees or something, pollinating than wasps. Also, it looks like this little new guy made his way down to the to the waterway. It must be like his mama. It must like it down there for some reason. So I'm gonna drag him further up the hill. Maybe get him over by the shade. Now he's uh, up there in the shade in the grass. His mom's got him pretty cleaned off, getting fairly dry. That should be a good spot for him now, out of the sun. Less flies cleaner he's got a ways to go before he gets back down to the ditch so should stay put for a while i'd say within the next couple hours he should be walking he was he was kicking while i was moving him that load of manure. Dad uh, threw some new bedding here in the heifer pen, small heifer side, and let them in. They look pretty happy. And then here's what we got going on the big side. He threw some fresh bedding in here as well. A bit of corn stalks. They got plenty of hay in front of them. It's a good deal to have that done, and it's a good deal to have our new seating taken care of. Let's go check on that new cow and calf and see how they're doing. So here they are looking healthy and happy, in the shade, nice and comfortable. Happy to see that all that went well. Probably get some fly spray for this little guy, being the flies are so bad now here in the heat of summer. The dairy cows, they're headed to the, the trees, I imagine. I don't think they'll do much grazing today either because it's so dang hot. They'll probably be hiding in the shade most of the day. But that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you all for sticking to the end. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on and see more of us, we post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday here on YouTube. And we also have other social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. So make sure to check out all that stuff and stay tuned for our future videos. It was a nice productive morning here on the farm. A couple surprises along the way. New phobias found. Thank you all for coming along. Make sure to check out our other videos.